You are better than now. Because yesterday's small boy is today's big man. Eh? Some 56 years ago, I was a tiny little boy crying, eh, eh. Today, I have gray. Those who looked down on me some 25, 26, 30 years ago, today when they see me, they salute. And those who honored me then don't need to salute. We walk along. Can I say, oh, I am bringing mothers a revelation. And after today, please, make sure you transcribe it. Put it in a small leaflet and make sure all the women will have it. The revelation. I told you that the turnaround we are looking for is in the hands of the women. And you will understand pretty soon. I shared a little with mommy, but I didn't give her the revelation. In 1 Kings, the chapter number 2, there was a story about Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, Nathan, Solomon, and David. I mentioned David's name last because he is the final voice. Amen. Now, I want you to look at the pivotal role Played by Bathsheba. In this scenario. Now me listen carefully. In 1 Kings the chapter number 2. Rebecca. Nathan went to Bathsheba. And said. Haven't you heard. That your son's half brother. Adonijah. Is now raising himself. As the king. Bathsheba, have you forgotten that the king made a promise and he swore that your son Solomon shall sit on his throne and rule as a king? Hurry up and go remind the king. Else, if Adonijah rules, you and your son will be executed. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, Meaning, Bathsheba and Solomon were alive because David was alive. That should let you know the hatred Bathsheba had to go through. The rejection Solomon had to go through though they are of the same father. But the circumstances surrounding their entry into the palace made them outcasts. As you sit here, as you watch me, you know very well that the circumstances surrounding your possession or your entrance into a place was by somebody. Hey, the way you relate to the person will determine how long you live there. Some of you are so forgetful that you are forgotten. But that is not where I'm heading. And then the Bible says, Bathsheba went to David on one condition, so they will not be executed. Why will they be executed? Is Solomon not David's son? There was something about David that made, sorry, there was something about Solomon that made him a threat to the rest. Two, until that time, women, hear me. Ladies, hear me. If you are watching, record this. Until that time, I never heard Bathsheba speak in the palace. Kingmakers don't talk. She knew she was hated. She knew there was no hope. She knew there was no future. But she never got up to fight anybody. 
Bathsheba never confronted. I believe by what Nathan said, there were times she was insulted in the open. She was called. In fact, Solomon was pushed out of the playground by his own brothers. But you never read in the, it is nowhere in the Bible that Bathsheba ever told Solomon that if they hit you, hit them some. Madam, look at me carefully. What children are you raising? Are you raising king makers or brother killers? Are you raising kings? Or you are raising murderers? Covet your sons? Oh, I don't think you are catching the revelation. Bathsheba was never heard talking until this time when she went to David. Me, Lord, you remember you made a promise about your son Solomon. Adonijah is acting as if the promise has been changed. If it has been changed, my Lord, please tell me. But if not, let your promise stand. The Bible says there and then, David sent for Nathan. Without knowing it was Nathan who went to... If you are a woman here this year, if you are watching me or you are seated here, if you will walk with a good heart, great men will recommend you to great men. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Listen, this year, my daughter, my mother, my sister, success will not come because you have Botox. It will not come because you have breasts. It will not come because you have hips. It will not come because you are good in bed. It will come because you are raising kings. Yeah. We live in times that women no longer see potential in people. They only see it in theirs. Come on, let's share the grace. But when I was growing up, there was always the eldest in every family who saw the potential living in the children of her siblings. And she would raise them to become the great men and women they are supposed to be. Sometimes their own children are not great, but they raise their siblings' children. Where are the women now? When kingmakers in women disappear, nations will be ruled by fools, not kings. When women stop raising kings, fools will rule nations. Bathsheba never spoke until Nathan, despite the hatred was so thick, Naomi, that you can touch it. That was how much Bathsheba was hated by what you will read in 1 Kings, the chapter number 2. And Solomon commanded, one, let him ride in my chariot. If a woman, after all that you have been going through in this palace, can keep so quiet and still raise a son like this, I'm not afraid to let him sit in my chariot. Are people afraid to give position to your children? I am talking to women. Today, I didn't come to catch demons. It's the first Tuesday of the year. I need to lay the correct foundation. Somebody gave me money last Sunday. I said, Daddy, the message you preached on Sunday, uh, in fact, when I get home, there are so many things I'm going to pack them out of my house. And I'll dump them at the gate. Anybody who likes can carry them. There are things I am addicted to. I'm going to deal with them now. Can I ask you a question? Madam, every woman has a womb. It takes a sperm to reveal the product of the womb. Are you a kingmaker or a nation wrecker? I won't be near Chosie. Ebuwa meana. Egbe. Where are the mothers?
So Bathsheba, listen, there is so much God is revealing to me about Bathsheba and Solomon. And I am like, so this thing has been there and we don't preach it. We are only interested in Bathsheba bathing in the afternoon. Did she know that David was there? She didn't know. And in those days, you dare not disobey a king. They will wipe your whole generation. It is okay to have theology. But remember, the theologians are not God. And nobody can understand the knowledge of God. Being a theologian is because you can interpret what is written. But that which is spoken, you can't. The spoken word. You can only interpret the written word, and that one is history. But the rima is futuristic. And everybody wants to go to the future, not the past. So I would prefer to hold on to the rima than the theology. Because theology has declared so many things that didn't come to pass. But spirituality has brought it into fulfillment. Let me tell you something. When you guard the prophets of a nation, the nation will not profit. Some are celebrating. Praise God. Because it is in their favor. Could it be that their prophecies were not working so others must be kept quiet? So they will be on the same level Cowards are the people who celebrate when competitors fail. If you are not a coward, you will intercede for your competitors to be lifted up so they will see who is a man. But when you begin to rejoice over the gagging of your neighbor, you are a coward. They were threats unto you. That does not declare your authenticity. It is God who knows who is authentic. Papa is to Rana said something. He said, be careful. The person you will be thinking you are better than, the person you think is not holy, may be God's favorite son. Be careful. This year, I have told you, I'm not looking at anybody. But for me to rejoice over somebody's falling or weakness or failures, you will not get it from me. Age is not the accumulation of days and months and weeks. Age is an opportunity to acquire wisdom, not stupidity. Am I safe? Believers in travel, am I safe? Who is happy to be here? Am I talking to somebody? So, Bathsheba chose to be quiet and focus on the future king. You are not hearing me. You know why? Because Bathsheba came into the life of a king who though he committed mistakes still held on to God. And she never went out to tell anybody anything about David or herself or what is going on in the palace. That's why nobody could say anything about Bathsheba in the palace except Nathan. Which one are you, my darling? Are you the Bathsheba kind of woman? We need to sit back and seek the face of God. So spiritually we can understand some women in the Bible. Don't just jump and talk because they are prostitutes, because they did this, because... No! God is not a fool to connect himself to women that society thought they were outcasts. From Pharaoh's sister, who saw Moses. You, you, no, I'm bringing you somewhere. To Moses' father-in-law, whom we don't know where he's coming from. Down, you bring it down. To Rahab, who was so much of a professional in prostitution that her brothel was on top of the wall, not in the city. So she sees the men first. Then to Ruth, the Moabite, a young widow who was foolish enough to follow a mother-in-law who qualifies to be called a witch. 
for killing her husband and her only two sons. Then to David, whom up till now, we are struggling to know what happened between the father and the mother and why the mother was not a wife. Be careful when you become judgmental. Know that you are falling off God's purpose of calling you. You are too quiet to my liking. You are like beginning of the year, Daddy. Why can't you prophesy, make some man? You don't need to be afraid of a witch. Be afraid of the ungodly, godly hypocrite sister or brother seated next to you. Witches are no more on the trees. They are in the church. Are we live? Oh, okay. So, welcome, my family. I'm talking. I said 30 minutes, so add 15 minutes to it, I beg you. Now, now, watch it, watch it. Bathsheba did not raise Solomon to hate anybody, to kill anybody. To envy anybody. She raised Solomon to be full of love. So much so that even people he should kill, he gave them conditions to repent. Who are you raising? The same Bathsheba. What did David see to make that promise? David saw the hatred towards Bathsheba. But she did not hate back. So when Solomon became the king, Bible says Solomon prepared another throne next to him and said, my mother, come and sit. You will rule with me. What a mother. What kind of women do we have today? Let's share the grace. This is enough. Happy New Year. I love you. If you are a woman here, give me a wiper. Womanhood is not measured by the number of children you have. I am yet to know whether Bathsheba had other children. So such a good woman will not raise many children. One, to make it perfect. Ah. Kingmakers raise wise children. You want me to talk about demonology? That is what I'm doing. And after talking to David, David said, go and bring me Nathan and Benaiah. Benaiah the warrior, Nathan the prophet. I will break it down. Don't worry, my son. Because everybody knows that if Nathan says, then David has said. If Benaiah comes, then somebody must die. So David's most trusted defense minister Accompanied by the voice of David. Telling everybody in David's chariot that this is the king. All by Bathsheba. Don't fight to crown your son. Raise your son to be crowned. Oh Jesus, this, this is too dangerous. Tell them, uh, if you are watching, tell your name, if you are watching and you are more than two, tell the person, stop fighting to crown your son. Raise your son to be crowned by people. Hmm. And I can see Solomon in David's chariot. Still, the confidence will not be there. 
Because he knows that Adonijah is accepted by society. There is circumstance surrounding he, Solomon, and his mother that the whole nation knows. But Bathsheba did not raise Solomon to think the nation hates him. I feel within my spirit that this is to be in a book, not preaching. Now, let me give you the secret. I will not say it this one loud, okay? Now, David gave his chariot to Solomon. Whilst Adonijah was being seen as the king, he is parading himself as a king. Solomon was riding in the king's chariot. Surrounded by the king's most trusted voice and the king's defense minister. Isn't this a divided nation? How did Bathsheba raise Solomon? Not to see a divided nation, but God's nation. Oh, Abraham, I, I, <laughs> please, am I making some sense? Am I breaking Bible down to somebody this morning? How many of you are getting where I'm going? Now, catch, 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 catch the joy here. Then they brought David, so Solomon, to the center where they make people kings. And he said, blow the shofar. Because Adonijah was not, there was nothing blown. Can I ask a question? Where was Bathsheba in all this merry-go-round? When Solomon in the chariots and left, where was Bathsheba? Kingmakers are not loud. They don't parade themselves to be seen as kings. Else rich people with foolish children will be their children to be raised as king. And they will deceive kingmakers in future. Looking like kings, but loaded with foolishness. Can I say this? The fact that you have a royal blood does not make you a king. You need a kingmaker to raise you as a king. That is why in some gates, when they are looking for a king, there will be about three, four, five people who qualify. But they will look through and pick one. Who super qualifies? Madam Bathsheba, how are you raising yours? Because all of us qualify. But the way you will raise yours will super qualify him. Bathsheba was not even in the chariot. She was not there. Hey, finally, Abamu, Abe No. Bathsheba was home. Seeking the face of God to know what next. The one who betrayed the husband, so to speak. A woman who saw the husband being killed should have been bitter. Ah. I am telling you, this nation to turn around is in the hands of the women. Women, who are you raising? Can I say this? It is true. Men believe what women tell them more than what men tell them. I am a man, so I'm telling you. You don't know, eh? When a woman tells a man something, he believes more. Go and ask Adam. You never thought of it, eh? God said, let us make man. So let's conclude God is a man. Yet a woman was able to tell man God-like something for him to believe woman. Do you know the power of the voice of the woman? So when a woman raises a Solomon kind of a king, that nation enjoys. We don't have that today. In our society, Mbano, for we are. She wants to be called... Eh, Ambassador no what China, Hong Kong, Korea no, hey, Korea no. 
Bathsheba never wanted anything for herself. But she wanted everything for God's people. So Solomon was raised with the mentality of God's people. Not my mother's people. Because definitely in the palace, there will be people who still were on the side of Bathsheba. But not more. And not many. So David, the Bible says, so David had to shield Bathsheba. He had to protect Bathsheba and Solomon. So no evil will come their way in the palace. She was making a king. She was raising a king. Bathsheba was quiet. Now catch this, catch this. Oh Lord. Now Solomon has been made king. Then, in chapter 3, something happens. All this while, when Bathsheba was raising Solomon, God never visited Solomon. Even God hated Solomon. But that didn't affect Bathsheba's training. Sometimes your life looks like God even doesn't care about you. How many of you have had that experience before? When everything looks like you have prayed, no result. Everything is busy, basa. My darling, get up. Get up. I see rituals going on around you. Come. Come. I don't. I see rituals and somebody is wearing smoke. And the person is holding a blade. And the more ni more pala. Okay. The more more The more ni more pala believe. The more ni more a life depreciator. And health. It is like each corn stands for each member of his family. And then and the person is not getting angry and what I see is like a direct attack. I'm still not making. Now, this, whoa, this is what I see. I see things on the person's wrist, like a high priest or a chief or something on the person's wrist. And it looks like, hey, let me, do you have a passport? Have you been flying? Oh, you should have waited for me to finish. Get me a bottle of water, cold or hot. If you have some here, take it for me. Have you been in Ghana for for long? When did you arrive? Sunday. You came on Sunday. Ah. This is serious. Open it for me. I won't forget my message. Don't worry. This one was like a fire that appeared in rainy season. It was raining, yet the fire was still burning. Cover it. Take. When you get home, don't eat anything. Drink this. And wash your hands with it. Around 3.34, you will get a call. Whoever calls you, when you hear the person's voice, cut it. Don't talk back. You will tell me what happened. God bless you. They say we shouldn't prophesy. We will. We will. I said what? We will. The encounter, the revelation I had, I wish all of you would be understanding what I'm saying. Why was Paul and Silas put in prison? Because they were preaching the gospel. Yeah. And it was not in the favor of some people. Mm. 
So imprisonment shouldn't be something that we should be scared of. Oh yeah. Some are in physical prisons. It is better than to be in a spiritual prison. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So as I was saying, then David causes Nathan. So you check it. I am yet to come across where David anointed Solomon. Because he, David, was not anointed by himself. He was anointed by a prophet. And that prophet was no more. But there is another prophet who is standing in the capacity of Samuel. If Samuel made me a king, and there is somebody with the oil of Samuel, then whoever gets anointed by that person is the king. I pray for a woman here. I really don't care whether you are watching or you are here. Your son may be the most useless, but in God's plan, an oil is about to drip on your son from an authentic prophetic mantle. And that same son of yours, that same daughter of yours, that people are saying will amount to nothing by close of this year. God will draw that son closer. God will draw that daughter closer. And there will be a change of story. And Bible says, Nathan anointed Solomon. And the shofar was blown. Every citizen of Israel. Now, now catch this. Do you know that at that time, Judah... And Israel were not at peace. Even under David, they were not at peace. But the Bible says when Solomon became king, Judah and Israel came together as a family from the same bloodline. Can I tell you something? If you raise a king, you will have a legacy, not a memorial. Let mothers of this nation begin to raise kings. Not selfish, greedy, covetous children who want everything for themselves. Am I, am I, am I sinking? You are sure? So in 1 Kings the chapter number 3 verse 16, that is where I'm closing. Now, he has been anointed king, proclaimed king. And David gave him some instructions. That also has to do with Adonijah. Hey, we will talk about that another time. Like I told you, this is a book thing. Now from the verse 16, can somebody read it for me? You see, the nation was divided. Adonijah's people. The king's people. Judah. And Israel. How can he bring them together? Can I tell you something? My darling baby girl, my darling mommy, my darling sister, when you raise a king, God will affirm. When you raise a son, God will observe. Hmm. Sons are inward looking. Kings are outward looking. Women, hear me, start raising kings, not sons. You raise a son from a selfish point of view because every king is a sacrifice unto the nation. Every king is a servant. So the fear of your son belonging to everybody, you raise the person as a son, God will observe. But when you raise a king, many are barren, not because God hates them, but because God can see them raising sons, not kings. And there will be a threat to society. He will prefer you stay barren. The whole Bible, only one woman was called barren and she died barren. Michal, the son of Saul, who spoke against the power of praise. David's wife. She died barren. But all other barren women in Bible had children. Anybody the Bible called barren had a child at the end of the day. Except Michal. Don't read the Bible like a storybook. It is a direction taking you somewhere. 
Like I told you from the beginning, this year, money money ma wa, ma wale. Money money ma wa ma sole ni walo abani nale. She ye moko he fell. Yesterday I was so mad, nobody knew it. I came here, B. Let the China army. Let the clan in Hala wiper. On my way, just motor me here. Then I saw this lady with three kids. Immediately I knew she was mentally derailed. And when I look at what the children were eating, I was like, what? I didn't say anything. I drove straight down to that mall, the one close to your place. Then I bought croissant, I bought other things. Then I drove back. They were still seated there. People were passing. But a kingmaker has raised a king. Who cannot walk past somebody who needs? Let me tell you something. If you are able to walk past somebody in a need and you have the means and you can't help the person, the fault is not you, it is your mother. Can I say it again? Jesus was willing to sacrifice his life because his mother was willing. Despite the Jewish law that says she must be stoned to death for getting pregnant by another man who is not known, she was still willing to sacrifice. So Jesus sacrificed. Know a child by the mother. I'm a child, me bailo. Because now me me here, Anna. Oh, he back post about tamata But underneath it, I have seen her raise, helped. And even to the point of giving all to see her sister's children, others, become somebody. So when Abraham Lamte is like that, check the mother. When you see a bad son, don't blame the child. Focus on the mother. No quell, you trust you. Help me. Let's share the grace. <laughs> I am feeling like, can I say it again? No quell. Ni you trust you. Many years can hear in Shinakan. Walk and know at the office, you are with the office. Quell or bedroom, trust you. But those days, the mothers were home. It is not against being a woman. Rather, when we are talking about woman rights, see how rotten the children are. And when we were not talking about woman rights, we are the product of those who didn't talk about woman rights. They talk about human rights. They are not the same. Human means generosity, kindness, love, care, godliness. So don't talk to me about human rights when you know it is stupid right. How many of you are glad you came? You were expecting some falling, some somersaulting, some, some gymnastics and some acrobatics. How many of you were expecting that? You thought today was going to be dangerous, eh? Be a clay. When you see a kind man, look for the mother. When you see a generous man, look for the mother. When you see a Solomon, look for Bathsheba. We behave and preach as pastors as if Solomon was the worst. Check! People are like, and Solomon had 400 wives and 600 concubines. You don't know your Bible. Only four were his wives. The rest, he just put his name on them. Because they are all daughters of kings that have surrounded his country. So if I am married to your daughter, will you fight me? So he just betrothed them so he will have peace, but not to be sleeping with them. 
You will see somebody walk with somebody not for sex, but because they want peace. Don't misinterpret it. Let me close, because if I want to go further, the book will be finished here. <laughs> How many of you have been blessed this morning? <sighs> and ladies and gentlemen, this year, don't miss my, from, from March, don't miss my Tuesday evening Bible school. I still have some books I have to return. I have marked them. Because we, we have to go back to the Bible and stop preaching for the pocket. I see a lot of people, immediately the churches began to grow and they became popular. Their message have changed. After anointing Solomon, his heart was like, how can I lead God's people? He didn't say these people or my people. He said God's people. So Solomon did not even think about those who were hating him in the palace when he became king. Check your Bible. He only dealt with those his father asked him to deal with. But those who hated him in the palace, he didn't touch anybody. Even Adonijah, he didn't touch him until Adonijah came to ask for his father's wife. They said, then you better ask for the kingdom. Because if that woman is our father's wife, whether young or old. And that was the last lady that was brought to David to keep him warm. And you're asking for your father's wife. Then Adonijah, you still want the kingdom. Ask for it. Today, your head will not remain on you. Meanwhile, his father has already warned him. But because he was raised by a kingmaker, he still pardoned Adonijah. Another person his father told him to kill. He just said, no, I won't kill you. You make sure that you stay in your house. Don't go out. I will make sure you don't starve. You will be fed. Even today, house arrest is approved. It is in the Bible. <laughs> me, my house is in Dodoa. If you come and arrest me, I will feed the person. The person will become an automatic member of the family. So they will drive me out. I didn't go out. They did. <laughs> he said, don't get out. But because of the person's evil heart, he rode a donkey out and came back home. Solomon didn't say anything. It was somebody who told Solomon that, do you know this person broke the law? He said, Cha, you know what the law says. Go and do it. Who and what are you raising? Bathsheba didn't raise a bitter son didn't raise a son with the mentality that everybody in the palace hates me. He raised a king. So after being anointed, he was still thinking like a king. And then that night, God visited him. Madam, God will never visit your evil trained son. A child that has not been raised well, prophecy will never change him. I am saying, say, madam, if you have not raised your child well, don't expect prophecy to change you. Prophecy comes to affirm the plans of God, not the mistakes of man. Are we live? You are sure? Hey. Grandpa, <laughs> real joy. Padia Kofansi, 31st, he was around La Paz. How can you eat Indomie and Guinness? My friend cannot make your blood. Let me try Indomie and Guinness. Ni padi e jobone e mu Indomie ne ke Guinness e shwe se ke my God, what an appetite! And God comes to ask Solomon, "What do you want me?" Ah, Bathsheba, I salute you. What do you want me to do? For you, you, you would have mentioned the names your mother gave to you that they hate you to be killed. You would have mentioned the people whose businesses must be collapsed, like some people I know. You would have mentioned some families who must be rendered poor. But Solomon said, I need wisdom so I can lead your 
people. Women of Ghana, start raising kings, not sons. Start giving your children national mentality, not domestic. No wonder they are only Christmas oriented. Valentine oriented. New Year oriented. Easter oriented. But if you raise kings, they will know that after the celebration, life will have to be lived. Kings think beyond the party, not for the party. What are you raising, mothers? So much envy, doubt, suspicion, hatred, and what have you? So you will see brothers seated around the same table, but mothers have raised them to suspect each other. You see families seated around the same dining table, eating the same food, but hearing different things from mothers. I said, fathers, chemekwo. Fathers provide. Mothers raise. Father will provide the sperm. And I remember telling you at the beginning that men believe what women say more than what man will say to man. Go and ask Adam how Eve was able to let him believe that is why companies prefer using women for marketing than men. Because Eve was able to market a forbidden apple. Ne market on a fene pa fufo no bota planta. Ne shaka on le keba mwen fiu. Echi atale kete shu. Wajek be budre skeno. So you see, as I, you know, a point of fene, wosu be ni un kose pebe, oye pebe, koko na inu. Oh, he indi enche yehua. Because they know if you marry, you are in trouble. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There is more we have to learn to come out with the best. So then God says, because you didn't ask for all this, but you asked for wisdom, receive it. Now, it came to Solomon because of training. Because he did not ask under the anointing. He asked by training. You are not getting me. At that time, God has not. He has only been anointed king, not a prophet. I am, why am I enjoying it more than you? And the Bible says that that night, God came to have a meeting with Solomon. And check it, from that moment, God never went to David again. Because what Solomon asked was something God has to be with him 24-7. God cannot package all wisdom into Solomon. He has to be there to be downloaded. What you desire in your heart determines how constant God will be with you. So me, but you are I don't hate. I hate. And I hate properly. But the next time you come, me and you, we do cool. You understand? Because I don't have enough space in my heart to keep your problem to inside. When good is coming, then there is no space. And the Bible says, God said, because you did not ask for the head of your enemies, but you asked for wisdom, take it. But wisdom does not come without package. Solomon made a request by training. It was granted by divinity. When you train an evil child, Satan will be the best friend. You train a king, God will be the best friend because God is people-oriented. Satan is people-destroyer. Remember, I am closing now. It's a divided nation at that time. 
So how can God now manifest himself in Solomon than to find a prostitute? His mother. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Question mark from the mother. I will let the whole of Israel know that you are the king from the source of a question mark. <laughs> you think you know my bad side. It is that same bad side that is going to place me above you. You think you know my secrets. It's that same secret that will make me better than you. So the Bible says two prostitutes. I like the way the NIV, NT, whatever, uh, New Living Translation. He said, two ladies who had children out of wedlock, meaning they were not married. But Kojovi says prostitutes. King James Version says prostitutes. One had a child, and then three months later, is it three months or three weeks? Three days. Three days later, the other one also had. And they sleep in the same room because like a brothel, but one, oh Jesus, this revelation is too heavy, Becky. I, I, no, I'll, let me keep it. Two prostitutes, not barren. Two prostitutes, not barren. They did not give birth to their children prematurely. They did not conceive for four months or 20 months. They gave birth in the 10th month, yet they were prostitutes. And I'm a fortune now, Don't think because you are holy, your child is perfect. If a Bathsheba can have a Solomon as a king, then think again. Think again. I remember the testimony shared by the most senior, most servant of His Excellency, Mr. Handsome Omafosafo, when he said he knows where he's coming from. And from that village, there was no hope of somebody getting to where he's got it. Yet, look at where he is. My darling, don't think because your children were giving birth to Atlista and they went to galaxy or universe or terrestrial and they, are, they had A, 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 A so they will be A. Huh. Madam! Raise a king. Don't raise a son. Any woman who raises a son always wants the son to be the best amongst the equal. But those who raises kings raises them to see potential in everybody. <laughs> Women, start raising kings and stop pumping into the head of your children that they are the best amongst everybody. Let them know that everybody matters, including them. <laughs> what we are going through in society today it's as a result of the absence of a woman. Everybody can be a mother, but not everybody can be a woman. There is no a woman in English because they don't have that abadai. They don't. They lack it. And the Bible says, after that encounter, two prostitutes who also got pregnant. As to who made them pregnant, we don't know. And they gave birth to two boys. Hey, this revelation is too heavy. And one was foolish and laid on the sun. The baby died. But in her foolish prostituting, she understood exchange. Do you really know what you have? you would have recognized it when it was taken away. 
No, I'll still keep this revelation. So then, they were arguing at home until they were brought. Now watch it. It is a big nation. How come their case got to the king? Jubilee House. Can I prophesy? Your case is necessary to usher you into great presence. Oh, you didn't hear it. <laughs> I see somebody here this year. You will get a case, not for your distraction, but so that through that case, you will encounter a 